Oi, tudo bem? Bem-vindo ou bem-vinda à lição 9. Uh, right? And uh, this uh, lição, let's look at the verb tang. Remember how verbs are uh, are uh, starting points. Tang means there is useful for uh, descrever, describing. Des descrever, uh, descrever lugares. What are lugares? Lugar is a place. <clears throat> lugar, say that, lugar, easy word, I mean, important word too, lugar, place, so descrever, describe, to describe places, describe, right? so tang, tang this, tang that, there's, um, tang, tang praia, like there's a, there is, there is beach or beaches, it's kind of like just general, like beach, there's beach, tang praia, right, um, there is not, no tem praia, right? So what about your city, right? Your, uh, here's a couple words. Cidade is city. Um, país, this is city, this is país, is um, country. <clears throat> Just a few words. So cidade, so what about your city? So tem praia, no tem praia, tem um, t a lot of traffic. I don't know, I'm just thinking of some some words to use with this verb for you. So, muito trânsito. Tem muito trânsito na minha cidade. What does that mean? Na minha cidade, right? Na minha, in my in my cidade, na minha cidade, get that in, it's stuck in your head, na minha cidade, tem praia na minha cidade, tem muito trânsito na minha, minha cidade, tem gente, really important word, people, right, so if, I mean of course there's people, but like what about a lot of people, it's muita gente, right, so there's a lot of people, let's say you live in a, in a, in a, in a cidade grande, say that with me, grande, cidade grande, Big city, right? Um, so, tem, tem muita gente na minha cidade. Or, it's a small town. So, cidade pequena, to give you the other, right? So, cidade pequena. Notice, notice that we're using, it's pequena, not pequeno. Pequeno is, like, right? masculine noun. Pequena is feminine. Noun, you know what I mean? So, cidade is a feminine noun, so it, it gets the A ending. Anyway, cidade pequena, right? Na minha cidade, não tem muita gente. Não tem muita gente. A lot of things, coisas, muitas coisas. <clears throat> There's going to be many things. So, by the way, you know how nouns are person, place, and things. So, we have people, gente, lugares, and coisas, by the way. Just going to put this here for you real quick. So, the noun words, gente, lugares, <clears throat> and coisas. Muitas coisas in order to do. Many things to do. There's a lot to do in my city. Like, ten, muitas coisas to do literally you're using for to do all right see if you can break that down for yourself so tem muitas coisas para fazer or if there's not a lot to say, no tem muitas coisas para fazer okay so useful verb so tem tem gente tem muita gente tem muitas coisas A lot of people. Tang. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
I don't know. I can't even think of anything else. Here's here's what you do. You just Google Google stuff. So look around your your sidaji in your mind, or look around even your room or your your house, your casa, where you are, right? So like, and what are there? There's there's rooms, ten quartos, ten quartos, ten. Where else is there? Ten. In this room, I'm in here. There's livros, right? There are books, ten. Livros, many, a lot of books, muitos livros. You see the idea? So you just you Google things. It's gonna help um, generate your vocab. Use it with tang. Look around wherever you are. You can look around and say, "Oh, there's there's this around, or there's that around. There's a table around here where I'm looking. Tang, there's a table. Tang uma mesa." See how that works, right? So it's, it's very small, very easy, quick starting verb starting point, but it leads to describing. Leads to descrever lugares. Tá bom? So look around like that. Imagine that when you look around uh, wherever you are, whether you're inside the house or outside the house, imagine that you're looking to. Uh, like you're looking at a coloring book around you and all of the things you see are like the lines of the coloring book and you want to be able to color them in using Portuguese words right so like if you're able to say oh there's a table if you know the word table and you can say tem uma mesa then it's like you could color in the table with the Portuguese word right so look around like how much of it's colored and how much of it is um, blank Wherever it's blank, then you want to learn the Portuguese verb and vocab in order to express that thing that's going on around you, right? So if you look out the window, oh, there's a person walking down the street. Oh, tem uma pessoa. Do you know how to say, you know, if, if you know how to say it, then it's colored in. If you know, then you know how to say it. So tem, tem uma pessoa walking, caminhando in the street. See how that works? So you got to look around and ask yourself, do I know how to say this thing? Let, let 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 your surroundings quiz you. That's it. Let your surroundings quiz you. Okay? So, oh, there's a person walking down the street or in the street. Okay? So, so tang uma pessoa caminhando na rua. If you don't know how to say that, then figure out how to say it, you know? Google it, ask someone so you can go back and color it in for yourself, all right? So, uh, tang uma pessoa caminhando na rua, right? Tang a lot of people who que fala português, right? Let's say you live in a place where a lot of people speak Portuguese or a lot of people speak Spanish. You'd say, tang muita gente que fala português, tang muita gente que fala espanhol, maybe even French where you live, I don't know. Tang muita gente que fala francês. Where I live, Onji means where. You probably know that. Onji eu moro, eu moro. I I live from the verb morar. Tem muita gente que fala francês onde eu moro. And where I live, a lot of people speak Spanish. So, uh, tem tem. Remember, tem muita gente que fala espanhol onde eu moro. Here in Chicago, aqui. In Chicago, right? You fill in the blanks for yourself, right? So tang, tang this, tang that. I mean, there's too many options. I can't, I can't put all the option possibilities here. There's so many sentences. You want to work this out yourself. Like, look around. What? Let your surroundings quiz you. What do you need to learn how to say? Like a coloring book. What do I need? To, what's what's blank in my mind? What can I not color? What do you know, what do I need to learn? So, tang this, tang that, tang this. Question, too, right? Of course, you could just go tang, question, tang. Are there a lot of people? Tang muita gente. Is there a lot to do? Tang muitas coisas para fazer. Are there many books in your house? Tang muitos livros in your house, na sua. Right? Tang muitos livros na sua casa. You could write out a little dialogue here or, or ask a friend, practice, uh, pre speaking practice this. Tang uma mesa, tang, tang. Is there a person walking down the street? I don't know. You'd be like, tang uma pessoa caminhando na rua. Onde você mora? Onde 
you live? Okay, are there, question. Are there a lot of people who speak Portuguese where you live? Tem muita gente que fala português onde você mora. Can you do that? Can you say that with your eyes closed? Can you look away and say, Tem muita gente que fala português onde você mora. What about, Tem muita gente que fala espanhol onde você mora. Tem muita gente que fala francês onde você mora. And so on and so forth. All right. So look, let's practice the coloring book thing. Look around. What can you describe? What can you not describe? What do you need to learn? Tá bom? Muito bom. Até logo. Tchau.